Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manna for Your Soul. Happy Saturday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is, there's power within. Oh, can I tell you, I love reading the Bible. Oh, the Bible has so many interesting things to read. You can find poetry. You can find song lyrics. You can find um, personal development. You can find history. Oh, it's just so much. So much in the Bible that it's so great to read and so enjoyable. And one of the great things I love to read in the Bible are about the superheroes. And one particular superhero that comes to mind is Samson. Can I tell you, Samson was was a man known to be the strongest man in the Bible, maybe even in in the world. Um, he, not only did he have superhuman strength, Samson had supernatural strength. And you know, just like any any great superhero, they have an origin. So let me tell you about Samson. We're introduced to Samson over there in the book of Judges, chapter 13. There was a woman, the Bible said, married to a man by the name of Manoah. She was visited by an angel. The angel told her that she was going to have a child. She was going to have a son. And he was going to be a deliverer of God's people. See the children of Israel being under constant attack by a warring nation named the Philistines. And, and Samson was going to come and take the lead in the help, helping to deliver to deliver God's people from the attacks of the enemy. And and this child was going to be special. So this woman had special things that she was to do and, and not do. And, and, and even after he was born, he was not supposed to cut his hair. That was going to be the source, the secret of his strength. And, and, no, and, and drink no strong drink, for he was going to be a Nazarene. I want you to get that. And so, and, and so as he grew, the Bible lets us know um, that, that, that the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. And, and, and he, he began to grow in the Lord and there came a day when when Samson said I want to take a wife he had grown up and said I want to take a wife and lo and behold he wanted to take a wife of the enemy camp and, and his parents were, were were against it but can I tell you this was part of the plan of God because God wanted him to be able to infiltrate the enemy's camp from the inside and so he so he went to take a wife of the Philistines but as they were on the way to go find Samson a wife lo and behold here comes a roaring lion. He jumps out and he, he, he begins to attack, but Samson did not run. Samson did not flinch. Oh, Samson grabbed the hold to that lion, and the Bible said um, that, that the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. Oh, can I tell you, in the previous chapter, oh, he was introduced to the Spirit of the, of the Lord, but when that time came for that fight, oh, the, the Bible said the Spirit came upon him mightily, and Samson with his bare hands ripped that lion apart. Oh, I can I cannot tell you that was the beginning of mighty exploits. Samson went on to kill thousands and thousands of Philistines in all different ways. One time he took a jawbone of a donkey and killed over a thousand of them. Another time Samson went on and pushed down the the pillars of a great building and kill and killed thousands and thousands. Samson, Samson was moved and, and, and empowered by a power that was within him to do great exploits for the Lord. Oh, what an awesome story. And what do I expect you to get out of that story? I want you to know this, that if God has called you, that if God has anointed you, that if God has, that if God has saved you and called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light, there is some power within you too. Oh, I want you to get that. You got, you got some power in you. Oh, you, you have the spirit of the Lord in you. You have an anointing in you to do great exploits for the Lord. Now, I know that sometimes you you might be saying, well, I haven't seen this great power. Well, you might be like David. David in the Bible, another one of the superheroes of the Bible. Uh, you know, David had the power within the slay giants, but he wasn't running around slaying giants until he was faced with one. You better get that. Uh, see, but because the spirit of the Lord that came upon David, um, as he was anointed to be king. But when David stood in front of that giant, another type of anointing, another level of anointing came upon him. And he faced that giant and he killed that giant. Today, you might be like David. Oh, your 
your giant hasn't come. You might be like Samson. You haven't seen your roaring lion yet. Oh, but when you stand in front of that obstacle, you have the anointing within you. You have the power within you uh, to be more than a conqueror. Yes, you are more than a conqueror. You will overcome the world because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. Oh, you might not even realize the strength you have. You might not even realize what you'll be able to accomplish. You might not even realize what you'll be able to overcome, but I'm here to tell you there is a power within you, and it's called the Spirit of the Living God. Oh, I want you to be encouraged today. You might be walking around like Clark Kent, and folk might look at you like you're Clark Kent, and they don't realize that within you, oh, there's a, there's a great big S on your chest, and it don't stand for Superman, but it stands for Spirit Field. Somebody better get that. Oh, you got a power within to do great things for God. You got a power within to overcome for God. You got a power within to be a blessing to the kingdom. You got a power within to bring God's deliverance to his people with his word, with his joy, with his peace, with his love, and with his mighty power, you got a power within. Go ahead and use that in Jesus' name. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Peace. Amen.